The Battle of Alberta will be uh, game two of our doubleheader, the future of the Edmonton Oilers, Magnus Pajarvi, Jordan Eberle, and Taylor Hall. This is the Oilers' lunch with Bob Stoffer. There's been too much of the focal point of the attention placed on the young players starting first with uh, Taylor Hall. Line number one. Everything I've read from all of the different people who have talked about Taylor Hall is that he's ready for the NHL now. From the moment more than 1,000 people jammed into a 300-seat arena for the team's summer prospects camp, Edmonton fans made it very clear. This is what they want to see. Taylor Hall in an Oilers jersey. Even fellow rookies have the same questions we do. So you ready for testing? I think so. Yeah. Most fans saw, and, you know, let's put Gretzky aside. Yeah. All the other players, Messier, Anderson, Coffee, Fuhrer, mm -hmm. Curry, mm -hmm. they saw those players develop over three, four, five, six, seven years, you know, so uh, I think there's some experience there and hopefully that'll work for us. The expectations for this group of guys is, is much greater than, than the group from the early 80s, uh, just because of the, you know, media coverage and, and, and what have you, the exposure that the young players have today. I'm just trying to, you know, prove myself that I, I can't play in the NHL. Having Jordan Eberle and Magnus Pajarvi will ease some of that, but no doubt the focus on Hall will be strongest. If you can improve yourself half a stride every season, imagine how fast you'll be and how good you'll be by the end of your career. if there was one play in particular that really stood out, that impressed everybody about you and convinced them about you, what do you think it was? Uh, probably in Brandon when I took the hit and came back and uh, made that pretty nice goal. And here's our first gander in this event, and Taylor Hall absolutely crushed by Travis Hamannock, and Hall is in all kinds of difficulty. Hall in the slot, Dipsy Doodles, he scores a brilliant goal. It's kind of funny, my mom couldn't even watch the rest of the Memorial Cup, she was so terrified because of that. To take that hit and get not only get up but come back and show that type of flair and a goal like that was special. comfortable. I don't care where you're coming from. The first time you step on the ice in an NHL game is different than anything else you've ever done. Yeah, I was behind you. They don't have to like their coaches, but they have to like playing for them. Uh, my hope is at the end of the year they can say that's the best year of hockey I've ever had. No, D to D one time. One time to him. Bob Bugner told us a great story that before you ever played for Windsor, before you were even drafted, they had a meeting with you and you said, next year, I'd like to be the rookie of the year and I'd like to lead in scoring. You did that. What are your goals for this year? Uh, well, it's a kind of different thing. I knew that I was on the team there and um, I don't want to be a guy that comes in and expects um, a whole lot. I know that this is the NHL. It's a whole different uh, animal than the OHL. but. Um, I expect a lot from myself. I think the biggest thing is to be a contributor on the team and improve over the season. I feel that if I can do that and finish out the season strong, uh, of course, after making the team, I think that put me in a good position for my career. 